bigger too. So they ask what happens when you feed them. They will get bigger. <laughs> Good morning. Sometimes you just want to wake up and sometimes God is so good, you just want to shout and dance and dance. Amen. And today is one of those days. And that has nothing to do with the story. I just God is so good. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Even when I'm not. Today we're going to talk about a big old word. Mm. A big word. And it's called integrity. Like, what do I need a big word like that for? And what does that mean? Huh. Integrity means there's many definitions. One is that you're the same from top to bottom. The other definition is you will do the right thing when nobody's looking. And that's the hard part. So I'm going to share with you a story. One is one that just happened to me this week. And one where a man wanted to do a test to see how honest people were. So what he did, he pretended... He pretended that he was blind. And blind people can't see, right? Thank you. I'm too active for the mic. Oh, that's that ADD. Okay, so now I'm blind. So what the man did, and the thing was, this was a study. They had cameras on the people. So the man went, excuse me, I have a $5 bill, can you give me change? Well, it wasn't a $5 bill, it was a $50 bill. And as they filmed this, he, he asked 10, 11, 12, 15 people, many people gave him five $1 bills back. Oh, wow. They had no integrity. Oh. No integrity. So after they filmed everything, they went to, because they had them on film, they went to the people and said, hey, you need to give me my $50 back because you only gave me five. And the man took his glasses <coughs> off and see that he could see. Mm. Mm. So they thought because the man couldn't see and they couldn't see what they were doing, <coughs> they could steal from him. And that's the opposite of integrity. Integrity would have been giving the man the proper change. Or letting him know, excuse me, sir, that's a $50 bill, not a five. And some people were honest. The other day I was at the store. And I just bought a couple things. And I gave the cashier a $10 bill. But she put it under the drawer real quick. And she gave me back $25 in change. And I'm thinking, okay, that's lunch money and some gas. <laughs> I mean, for, for a split second, that crosses your mind. If, you know, if, if, that, if that young man would, didn't do well in math in school, that's not my problem. Right? And I had me $25. I'm going to the buffet. <laughs> but in that split second and I'm so thankful and that just lets me know that Jesus loves me and he cares about me and he said Rick you need to give the man his money back and I did Amen. so when I gave him his money back I guess this wasn't the first time he said, oh, I'm so thankful because if I had my drawer was short again, I would have been fired. Mm -hmm. wow. I, the guy had a problem with math. I mean, it was obvious. So I did the right thing, even though I didn't have to. And that's called in integrity. Now, sometimes, but we need to understand integrity, and, I'm, and I have a, a visual. This is just a plastic knife, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And it's plastic from tip to
to top. Right? Once they look at it. Right? That's all it is. But I'm going to cover it up. Can you see it? Do you know what it is? No. But it's still plastic from tip to top. That's right. And that's integrity. And God has put that in your heart. Amen. You just have to find it and use it. God bless you guys. Oh, so good to see you. You're all looking so good. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.